Uh, good afternoon. It's the it'd be Wednesday the fourteenth, I guess today. And um, basically today is uh, I'm going to be talking about the uh, the origins of humanity. So now we go back to the very beginning. It says in the beginning in. So you get the word Christ Christian Christian. I have a brother named James Ian Warbisky. Spell his first letter, his first initial, and his last initial. That says Jew. So if there's ever a Holocaust, I could get murdered in this Holocaust for being a Jew when I'm not a Jew. I'm not James Ian Warbisky. I think that me and James Ian Warbisky are twin brothers. Now Christ Ian would be Christ Ian. Ian Amy Oakley. That's my real name. It says, whoever tr trusts in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Edgar Hishchanko. That doesn't say James. That says Ed Edgar, right, Eddie? I mean, I honk, honk. Yeah, Idaho potato. It was, that was really good. Thank you, man. I, I got that. They only charged me a, a, a dinger a piece for those. Thanks. It was four bits a piece. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so remember in the Bible, James Warbisky is going to be saying, my brown eyed brother is going to be saying, says he who comes after me was preferred before me, whose who's latchet, sandal latchet, I'm not even able to undo. So there's only two people. There's either Johnny Weeb, it's either Johnny Weeb or it's James Warbisky that has my ID or one of my other brothers like R. I. and Thomas Nelson or one of the other brothers swipe my ID. Now I was shot and killed, deader than a doornail. And I walked out of the morgue and I said, man, you guys, my head's really not feeling good. Something's wrong with me. And they said, you're alive? And I'm like, what's wrong with me, man? I got a bad, bad headache. And they say, you got a fucking bullet in your head. You're just you're supposed to be dead. I said, well, I don't want to be dead. Can you please take care of this for me? And and so they right away, they rushed me onto a gurney and I was in, they took me to the Beth Israel Trauma Center and they operated on me or I was in Germany somewhere. I don't quite know. This is what I do know. I am not a Canadian citizen. I will bet, I will bet everything I have that I'm not a Canadian citizen. Now, I remember killing people in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I remember murdering three full-grown men for raping a 13-year-old. This I remember. These traumas came back to me. The other night I woke up, not today, or actually it might have been today or yesterday, I woke up swinging like I was in the war. I, I went to war in my room. I dismantled my room. The pillows, everything was torn to pieces. And I finally clued in and I was on the floor sitting there going, oh my goodness. And everything was torn up and I'm like, I hope nobody's coming. I hope nobody phoned the police. I was scared. So I cleaned up my room real quickly and came out and made coffee. And I was like, oh, shit, man, what did I do? Okay, so if you look at my hair here, you can see how I, I trim. By the way, I cut my own hair, Om and Opa. My, the back of my hair, my beard, all of this, I did all of this. I trimmed all of this. I did all of this. Now, how did I learn to cut hair? Most likely in the military, because a lot of the military people that are in the military, they learn to cut hair and they cut each other's hair. The soldiers stick up for one another in the military. And you're not always going to have a barber around. Somebody's got, you know, a pair of scissors or a barber's kit. And yeah, yeah, I'll take a haircut for, you know, half a deck of smokes. So what do you got? Oh, well, I, I'll, I'll give you my... My, I'll give you, you know, a half of my steak for 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 the for a haircut, and yeah, you know, and that's how it is in the military. People deal and they care for each other. Now I'm finding out that I have a lot of children. Me and Daintree Christensen have two daughters. We have a daughter named um, Angela Rodriguez and another one named Sarah Seeger. Well, I'd like to know why the, her name isn't Sarah Oakley or Angela Oakley. Why why are the kids got to me? I have a different name. See, I don't. Anybody that buys or sells or kidnaps salmon, like sperm or salmon, shall surely be put to death. You can't pen sperm up. You can, it's called panspermia. You cannot pen spermia. You can't pen spermia sperm. Because when you pen up sperm, they degrade and they lose their life force. 
But when a man is in a woman and, and he ejaculates in a woman, they're locked together. So everything to create is, is necessary life is in there. Now the womb, the heavens don't sound like a 737 jet going off in your body, do they? They're void. It's called null and void. Space is null and void. It's like a vacuum of time. And you can't hear. It's not like a 737 jet going off in your body. All I'm asking is for the police. When you feel your body vibrating and you feel a bunch of vibrating in your body, put your fingers in your ears and plug your ears and you're going to hear this (sighs) noise like an airplane going off in you. That's sarin gas. And that's what they're doing. And they're trying to lie. They're using sarin gas to make money on the mental health act. Mental health is is what it is. If you keep poking a dog, you go out and grab one of them cop dogs and start poking them with a stick. I get, I, I guarantee you, you poke that dog on the 10th time you poke it, that dog's going to attack you. Don't matter whether you're the handler of that dog or not. And you bet your ass, I got big arm struts. You bet your ass, I got big freaking arms. And it's you and me are the law in this town. And you know how I know I was a police officer? Read the book of Psalms. I was a New York police officer. York is Y-O. I have a huge Y from open heart surgery on my heart. Open, big open heart surgery scar. And my last name is Oakley. Which proves that I was a police officer. Like I said, it proves I was in the military. Now what's the first commandment? Two shall have no gods before me and a me. Before me. I have a huge bullet hole and, and that's true, Stratninsky. I showed, I brought this to the police. I brought this to Alberta Hospital. I brought all of this to them. Yet they're trying to wipe my name out. And I'd like to know why. See, they put Prince Charles in as the king. King James II is actually me. King Amy. Amy's the second one. There's two of us, me and James, and we're twins. I'm a Ryan Jin, and he's not. He's Jin, like my grandmother. But I'm a Ryan Jin. And what I said is true. I'm related to all of those people, and that's it was kind of an experiment. That is why I'm so smart, because I have five dads. That's how I'm smart. It's not like my stepdad. There's five of them. My fathers, they impregnated my mother's ovary or ovum with five different sperms they managed to do this somehow they implanted five different sperms in one egg so i have two fathers here two fathers here and and a father and a mother in the center strand so i have trident strand dna and there's only one other person that has that and that's the tree of good and devil and that's my brother james ian warbisky and his name is supposed to be jonathan ian warbisky or it could be could be you, John Weeb. But you're Jehovah's Witness. I think you're my witness. And Dave Weeb is part of my father. I come from the Weeb family. And ironically, I look just like Dave Weeb. And I was with, I was sexually, I was with Jennifer Nasu, who looks a bit like Kathy Weeb. But oh my goodness, this girl. I saw her on TV. Now hear my words. People can hear you and see you on your TV. When you're sitting in your living room and, and you're watching like global, they can see you in the and hear you on everything. I could hear Jennifer Nasu on TV. I looked at the TV and I was drinking and I said quietly to myself, I said, oh my gosh. I says, Jennifer, well, I made love to you, didn't I? And she nods her head and she blurted out, I love you, Ian. Right on TV, I was like, oh my God, I, I dropped my glass and broke it. I was just almost started crying. And I miss you so much. And they went to a commercial and I got so mad. I picked up my coffee table and I started to roar and I dropped the coffee table, picked my weights up and I got real angry, dropped the weights down and I was upset. Now the origins of humanity. Okay, you take the Negro people. The Negro people. The Aborigines in Australia, Jacinda, are not Aborigines. They're Negroes. And that's not even their name. That's a disrespect to them. They don't like being called niggers or Negroes. They're Nibrus. Nibrus. And they're from the planet Nibiru. And one of their years is 3,650 days. Ours 
A year in, on Earth is 365 days. A year on Nibiru is 3,650 days. So that makes them way, way, way different. But even, even though that is the way that is, they're still not very smart. They're actually fairly dumb, pardon my pun. But they started blowing up volcanoes on their Earth and stuff, and they wrecked the ozone layer. Now, I'm trying to prevent this on Earth. I've asked you, Justin Trudeau, to grow hemp. If you don't want to grow hemp and you don't want to build water pipelines, you have money to lend to the Hells Angels, right? You've been sneaking money to them. I know you have, and I've got you on video footage, and I'm going to jail you for this, and I'm going to put needles in your ass if I have to. Now, I have a law book that says, Christy Freeland said, we've got you covered. Okay, if you were representing me, how come nobody phoned me to tell me you don't have to go to court? Don't you think the Crown should have phoned and said we've dropped all the charges? They had no pretense to even take me to court. They tried to put me on probation. Now I got people hacking in and trying to stop me from talking to my sister Harmony Ischenko. Prime Emmy and Esther. It's probably Simone. Yet I hear I've got a whole slew of kids with Simone. We haven't then. Same as Sandra Johnson. Seven kids with her. They abducted me, stole my sperm. Michelle Mogensen at Dr. Rose's office has two kids with me. Me and Jennifer Nasu have a girl together. We have children. So I was with Jennifer Nasu. So the RCMP ball 1967, right? Anybody that ring any bells, Uncle Rod, does that ring any bells? You bet your ass that rings some bells. I'm going dancing to the RCMP ball. This fall time, everybody is dead or everybody is going for their stupidity because, and they shall have his name on their head and he will be their God and they will be his people. 477,000 people are only going to be left on earth. Everybody else is dying. Because the Bible says this. So I have a big, big, big problem with my brother trying to impersonate me. You make a clone of my brother, I will know. Because I'm an Orion Jin. You look at the globe. You look at the round globe, okay? My eyes are round. My, my eyes are round. You look at my eyes that... Orion Jin's eyes are round. They're round. Jin have flat eyes. So I can tell. So you try to make... And I heard they cloned James Ian Warbisky. You They made a clone of him without my permission. I did not give you permission to make a clone of him. Now, I have a problem. I have three brothers that supposedly look like me. There's Mark, there's Jonathan, and then there's Damien. Well, the Ark of the Covenant might be Mark. He might be the mark, Ark of the Covenant, so I might save my kind, but everybody's trying to kill my people. Why don't you go after the devil? And they kicked the devil out of heaven, and there was no place found for him, and he was left to run around on the earth. So how come I see him driving around on Harley Davidsons? I seen James driving the other day on a Harley Davidson. What the, what the fuck is he doing driving around? Listen to me, Constable Stratninsky, I want you to arrest Steve Sharp immediately and put him in jail for living off the avails of crime and you can pull up as many charges as you want. He is a scumbag and he's guilty. My name is Ian Amy Oakley. Now I have proof from the mob that all my receipts are clean. All my constable hours are clean. My all, I drove around like the Caprice. I drove a Caprice. I had really short hair, curly hair, and the big fat cop was in the side with me. And I drove around. We had a squad. There was like five of us. And we were the takedown squad. We were busting people that were selling crappy drugs and, you know, people that were prostituting people. We were doing good work. Same as Cold Case, that movie. Cold Case, the series, with Jeremy Ratchford and Danny Piano. Oh, my goodness. What? Danny Ian Oakley. What? Okay. Now you're listening to me. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, ho, ho. I have a movie I bought from my landlord for $2. 
it says the Karate Kid. And it said, the story continues, the Karate Kid 2. I turned the movie over. I dropped my coffee on the floor. There I was, right on the back, kicking the living shit out of some Chinese guy, just booting on him. And this picture, you see this picture, you, and I got a picture of me when I was a child. Constable Stratnansky, I have a picture of me when I was a child, and another picture of James's living room. To prove where I am at in that house is not James's house. To prove that I'm a different human being, that I have black hair, and I have green orange eyes. I don't take my glasses off because they keep, they made a bunch of stupid clones of me and they're trying to put them on to eye me up. And that's how I'm beating them. And they don't realize that how many people on welfare do you know that are built like this, that have hands the size of their face? This is somebody that is a somebody that's tough. I am extremely tough. I'm trained to kill people. Now the origins of humanity. Okay, people came to earth and they settled in a place called Summer and they tried to call themselves Sumerians. They're not Sumerians and the place that they settled is not Samaria. Where Samaria is, is in the Mackenzie Mountains and I'm Sumerian. I'm related to Adolf Eichmann. I'm related to Heinrich Himmler and Adolf Hitler. They're my grandfathers. Three of them are my grandfathers and Amelia Earhart's my grandmother. She didn't die. They uh, picked her up and they took her to the base in Antarctica. Now I've got a whole bunch of these arseholes. Probably they say there's somewhere everywhere's up into two to three, maybe 30,000 people hiding in Antarctica. And they're pretending that that is heaven. That's the asshole of the earth. Now my eye, as the police know, my eye wanders back and forth. Rhoda and Edgar, you know that, right? Ian. Now pronounce the name with an I, A-N. Or I-E-N. I-N. I-N. Worship God Ion. God Ion. So, you, Annie has your ID. And vice versa. You are actually God, Rhoda. You and I are actually God. The green-eyed one. And the green-eyed Rhoda is, is the green-eyed, the green, your green-eyed, you is Rhoda. And Rhoda is actually Annie. And she scooped you. And is lying to you about that. Forgive me for saying this, Annie. But I think that Annie Oakley, because it says, worship God a ion. God a ion. Ada ion. So it's either Annie Oakley or Rhoda and Ian. But I couldn't, that's not how that was. And I know about Angela from Ontario. Angela is our daughter. I know that. That me and my mom have children together. I already know that. And I don't know who did this to us. And the heavenly luminaries were like, whoa, <laughs> what are you people doing? Now, I don't know. Either Ruth Schmuck is my mother or Annie Oakley is my mom. Says green eyes because I have dark reptilian green eyes. They're green, but I'm a Ryan Jin, pure reptilian. You can even tell by my hands. You look at my hands. You'll see, look at my hands, see, I'm reptilian, I'm pure, I'm the purest and the oldest human being on earth, and I'm the alligator god. Now, I come from three lineages, the alligator people, I come from the horse people, and from the lion people. Now, everybody has an animal spirit, everybody has an animal spirit, and why are, because that's the people they come from. Now, the people that come from, like me, I come from the horse people. I already told you this. Forgive me for saying this, but I was born because I come from Dave Watson and from Heinrich Himmler and Adolf Eichmann and all those people are the horse people. So I, I was born with a really big penis and my auntie had the doctor sew it in and wreck it and stuff like that. So my auntie can be put to death immediately for kidnapping unless maybe my auntie wants to come and repair my penis and then I'll forgive you. How cool is that, Aunt Tierney? How cool is that? So, yeah, the, the pen is mightier than the sword. Let's read this my word, my way. To penis smite, I or earth, auntie's sword. Oh, you really like something that big. So then why did you wreck that? If you liked it or you liked me. 
Why would you wreck? So who wrecked me? Somebody wrecked me and this needs to be repaired. I'm having problems. It's tied. My pubic bone is tied to my spinal, cerebral spinal fluid. And then my penis is in an S. It's been crammed into my guts and then sewed in on the front. Now, let's get back to what I was saying. You abducted me to wreck me. You can abduct me to fix me. I'm not sticking no toilet brush up my ass. I'm not stupid. Now, we have Indians and we have Eskimos. Okay, James Ian Werbisky. Okay, James Ian Werbisky. Indians, Eskimo. Oh, the devil. Okay, so he's the devil. Says, two shall not make unto thee any graven image. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity up to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. Of those Hoss, Hurlbert, Billy Jameson, hiding under my apartment, hating on me. I have a gift. I can look at somebody and tell exactly who they're related to. Now, I believe, Jacinda, that we have two children. One of them works at the Hope Mission. She's tall. She has your hair. And when she speaks, she sounds identical. Her voice and your voice are identical. She's our daughter. And we have a son together, I think. And I think they abducted us and put us together a whole long time ago. Now, if you really read closely the book of Joel, New Zealand is pretty much the truth about that. That's where I was supposed to be going to get repaired and to heal. Well, I don't know. Maybe why don't you guys go abduct one of my brothers and put him in my apartment and make him behave and keep the place clean while I'm gone for a couple of weeks or a month. How, how wouldn't that, wouldn't that be so cool? I could cruise around New Zealand. Now, here's, here, here are my words. Uh, not only have I flown fighter jets in the States, I was in the military. I was in Canada. I was in Canada. I think I grew up in the Alaska. I think that's where I spent some of my younger years. Jimmy Smith's, the movie Broken Chords. That's right. That is exactly right. That little Indian kid, supposedly Indians. So yeah, you shall not bow down to them or worship them. The Negroes and the Indians are not... The only ones that are my real people are the Koreans, the Koreans, my Ians, the, the yummy little ningy, ningy, ningy Koreans. Those, oh my goodness, they are, those are my people too. These other people came here from other, and, and are coveting our earth. What is it says? Two shall not covet. That's not talking that's not, that's talking about you, James Werbisky, coveting my IV, IV, or my ID, or one of my other brothers coveting my ID. But not only that, that's saying that you shall not bow down to them or worship them, Kenneth Lee Oakley, because Kenneth Lee Oakley and George Martinson are related. Kenny's his dad. They abducted Kenny and stole his sperm and got Beth McElhorn pregnant. So, or Beth Martinson, she was a math learner. Now she's a Martinson. Other than that, that's how that went. So, but other than that, when it says two shall not covet, that's talking about the Indians and the Nibrus, and they're not called Indians. Indians are ar aboriginals. Torvi, the Viking, is aboriginal. Auschleg, the Orion Jinn, aboriginal. The people, the, the Aborigines in Australia and in all these other parts, they are not Aboriginals. They're Negroes. They're Nibrus. They snuck down to Australia and trying to claim that they're Aboriginals. They're not Aboriginals. Look at them. How are they Aboriginals? Unless they can actually prove their lineage to my lineage, which I don't think they're going to be able to, their noses are stuck way out and they look like Nibrus. So the Indian, the Indian people that are saying they're Indians, now they're trying to change their names to natives. They're not natives either. They're not native to this earth. They came here. They were, they came here and they don't even remember how they came here, but they came here from somewhere else and are coveting. 
Same as the Nibrus. They came here and decided they were going to, ah, this is our, our, you know, what the hell, we're, we're going to tell you how it is. I said, no, you're not. And I shit kicked them. I shit kicked them so bad that they got away with one spaceship. And that spaceship blew up in outer space. So they haven't been able to get back to Nibiru. But we're going to be sending them back there or we're going to be removing them all. If you do not believe me, then hear my words what I say next. Okay, you go up to Finland, you go up to Norway, you go up to Sweden, okay? All the people up there are white with Icelandic bluish eyes and green eyes, light green eyes and stuff with light colored hair. Now, why are they like that? Because the days are short and they lack vitamin D. Now, in order to get vitamin D, they get vitamin D through sunlight like everybody else. That's why in the Mediterranean area, people are darker. But the people should look like me, but dark. Not like Nebrus or, or stuff like that. They should be darker. So if there was people, say there were Aboriginal people, that they would be darker. That's where they would be from. But you can tell. See how my arm is like this? You know how you can tell, same as Travis Rimmel, I apologize for saying this, but I'm not apologizing. You're, you are, you are, an, you're not, you're, you're like those Indian people. You're not from here either. See how my arm is? Indian people's, those, those people's arms come in and then their muscles go like that. And they have a big trip like that. That's how I can tell. So you're not Viking, Travis Rimmel. You're actually just, you're just a white native person. And their names, they're not even Indians. Not only are they not Indians, they're not natives either. They're not from here. I think they're Nibrus with straight hair that have just kind of tried to mix themselves in a society and stuff. That's what I think. And the origins of humanity, the Orion Jinns, Orion Jinn, now, I created the heavens, the earth, the whole solar system. And I gave a complete record of everything I did. So why is the Catholic Church hiding all my information from me? Why are the Scots, namely Donald Tom, and you're not God, you're full of shit, you're a liar, you're a criminal, and you're going in the ground. As soon as I can get you, you're done. Piece of shit. Garbage, Donald Tom, and you're nothing but scumbag garbage. For what you've done. Your family are just not cool people. You're making a bunch of clones of Bruce. I found out. Anybody that makes a clone of somebody else is gets put to death. I and I alone have power to make clones. Worship God I God on. God alone. Small letters, not capital. God I on. God I on. Oh, really? So you capital letters, God, uh, loan, loany, oh, loany, loany, loany. Because, and everybody, each person on earth has an animal guide. That's their spirit, is an animal guide. My animal guides, I have two of them. I have the horses, I have tigers, the cats. And I have dogs. There's actually three, or, or not dogs. I got tigers. I got the horses. And then I've got the alligators are my guides. I come from the alligator people, as do most of the people. All the Italians are good people. They're Ryan Jins. Now, why do you think they're all slimy? Their eyes are all slimy looking like all those people in New York. Because they're from Italy. They're from Greece. That's what they're supposed to look like. Now, hear my words. I do not like East Indians. East Indians are not East Indians. They came here too. They came here in spaceships. And they are holding all of their information and lying about where they come from. And everybody's trying to make excuses. So what does it say in the Bible? Two shall not covet. What else does it say? Two shall not tick ill. So you're making coin washing machines and putting them in my building. That's right, you guys have been putting them in my building. Exactly. Now I'm going to tell you where I live. 
Okay, I'm going to tell you where I live, and you're removing that washing machine, and you're going to put the one that was in there. I live on 104, 10607, 104 Street, Northwest Edmonton, Alberta, T5H2, W3. That washing machine that's upstairs is being removed because that is purposely made to hurt people. What did I just say to you? Two shall not tick ill. Coin a man tick. No. Blinking. People blinking. Treblinka. Tick ill. People like. All these people blinking on team at Treblinka. Bisnik denken is present Deutsch. Heil de Fuhr. Sech Heil. Sech Heil. Sech Heil. I am the fear. And I am God Almighty. You guys don't have anybody besides me. You're so fucking stupid, Trudeau, you won't even listen to me. How fucking hard is it to build a water pipeline from Lake Winnipeg, right? Straight across, right to the border of Manitoba. You go from Manitoba all the way across to Alberta. And then on each province, you run a big pipeline down and we start growing hemp doing crop rotations, and stop using pesticides. You like pesticides? Why are we using pesticides? Because you're cloning people, and we're running out of food. You're not allowed to clone people. I told you not to clone people. Aboriginals are Orion gins. I have Aboriginal eyes. I'm an Orion gin. The Indians in the Yukon that are saying they're Indians are not Indians. Terri the territories, territory, two shall not covet. So what about Terry? Terry Tremblay is Elaine Hurlbert's daughter. And Christy Trombley is Glenn Hurlbert's daughter. How do I know that? Because I am the best in the world at what I do. I fly fighter jets, I fly choppers. I was on the police department, I was on the drug squad, or the, the cold case squad. Yeah, you might say I was in the drug squad a bit too, and I, you know, and stuff. And they're coveting the cocaine, and they're making cocaine with all kinds of chemicals and putting it in the rivers down there when they shouldn't be that. Cocaine is medicinal, heroin is medicinal. Now, I broke my wrist when I was really young. Nobody wanted to help me, but Carol McNeil did. She showed up with a big bottle of morphine. I said, oh my goodness, 250 milligrams of morphine. Time release, I started crushing those babies up and I drank one tea in the morning and I'd just sit back, my eyeballs would lower back and I'd be like, oh man, I love this and looked at my wrist, I got to operate on it and I cut my wrist open. Oh yeah, that looks not too cool and I was in there pulling chunks of bone out and then I put my wrist back together. Oh, that doesn't look right. I looked at a, a bone grab. That doesn't look like so. I squeezed my hand and broke my ulna bone and I reset my ulna bone so my ulna bone's better. Now, how did that happen? Because I did that. I set my ulna bone. Now, how did I know how to do that? Because I'm also a doctor. I worked at Area 51 at Skunk Works. I have a picture when I was little. My head looks just like a skunk and I have complete black hair. I can prove this. The only thing I don't know, I heard on TV, if they make a clone of you, you, the clone has a bit different fingerprints. Bullshit. I think the clone has the same fingerprints. If they make an identical copy of you, unless you're born at birth with a twin, the fingerprints should be different. So, Constable Strotninsky, James Ian Werbisky and me, our fingerprints should be different. They should not be the same. So what you people need to do is you need to go find my brother and arrest him for impersonating me. And then if he has someone else's ID, then you need to go arrest Orion Thomas Nelson and find out because he's an Anunnaki clone. They're not allowed to make Anunnaki clones of people. That's just how it is. Our Ian Thomas Nelson has brown eyes, solid brown eyes. The Anunnaki clones have solid brown eyes, basically. Their eyes are all brown, just whites, and then just solid brown, and their eyes can light up like flashlights. My eyes can also do that too, but I'm the only human on earth that should be like that, because I am God. Uh, James doesn't have hair here. 
James doesn't have hair there either. He doesn't have hair. I'm almost six feet tall. And at my buffest, I'm usually around 200 pounds. And I have size... Eh, about probably size 11 shoes. James has size 9 feet. He's about 150 some, 160 pounds and stuff because they abducted him and one of Edgar's clones, they stole his penis and, and then put it, sold it on to James. And they did a penis implant and they repaired James. Now he's dying of AIDS. <laughs> well, that's what I heard. I don't know if that's true or not. But how come? how is it that you guys can do this and do that? He who comes after me was preferred before me. That is correct, Constable Stratnensky. I am coming after James. I'm going to go after him because he has my ID or one of my other brothers do. Now, I heard that I might have three brothers. I have a brother named Peter. I don't know. He's six foot one. He's tall and his thumb is the same. All my brothers have the same abnormality with their thumb. How is that? People that are living in different dimensions are just people on earth. They're not allowed to... Like, my grandpa is Orion Jin. My real grandma is Orion Jin. My real mom is Orion Jin. So then they're making clones of them. They're making... They're not allowed to make clones of these people and put them in the Yukon and all over. They're not allowed to do that. Now, I alone am God and should have power to the base, but I don't have power to the triangles, don't have power to the, the United States thinks they can do whatever they want. I think there's people coming because I'm in contact with somebody that claims to be Zeus. And he said that I am the reincarnation of Zeus. My name is Zion. Because I'm always eyeing people. What does it say in the Bible? If your eye offendeth you, then pluck it out. Oh. See, I've flown over Antarctica in a Hercules. And I went joyriding in the Hercules. I said, I'm going to go joyriding. And how do I know this? Because ancient aliens told me that I did this. And I saw me. They they cloaked my, my, my body and my voice. But I knew my nose. And when they showed the pictures, they showed a picture of an eye, an eye in there, an Orion Jin eye in the snow. And that's how the spaceships come in and out of there. And they keep flying. What does it say? If your eye offendeth you, then pluck it out. So let's get rid of the base. That's not heaven. That's not heaven. That's the asshole of the earth. How is that heaven? How is that paradise? Greece is paradise. The government's Greek. Yeah, exactly. Look at the water there. It's just perfect and clean. Look at the parchers with Scott Wilson, Justin Lukacs, and Henri. And Henri Renier or whatever his name is. And you look at when they went diving in all this clear water. You people can't be putting dye in the water. The dyers? Edgar and Rhoda, you're not allowed to do that. You cannot dye the water. You cannot make the TV look like the water's nobody's allowed to put dye in the water. That is just not cool. So, the origins of humanity. I'm an Indian. My brother Wade is an Indian. Wade Allen Ischanko is an Indian. Now, Wade Allen Ischanko, you better not have my ID. If I find out you have my ID, you better be, you better run and you better run to the police station and lock yourself in jail. Cause my good gosh, if I have to come after you, Wade, I'm not playing games. I'm trained to kill people. Okay. I'm trained just like a police officer. And I even have more training than the police do. I'm a martial artist. I can swing a Mustafa so fast that I can break this speed barrier. I can break the sound barrier with a Mustafa. I'm not just an, uh, just some stupid idiot rambling here. I'm telling you. So I have a problem with the people that think they're Indians saying they're Indians. They're not Indians. Now the people from the middle of earth, it's called the equator. Why do they call that the equator? Because that's where it gets the most sunlight. So the people would be darker there. But the further south you go, the people will be lighter. Like, look at Jacinder. You're light, right? That's right. Okay. So, the people near the Ecuador would be like that. Now, the politic gins. Politic gins. They have all colors in their eyes. But say their eyes are round. Say their eyes are round. Let me, let me, let me draw this for you. I'll draw what a politic gin Okay, Orion Jinn's look like this. Okay, this is what an Orion Jinn's eyes look like. An Orion Jinn's eyes go like this. 
They're reptilian. Okay? And their eyeballs are like this. This is what Orion Jin's eyes look like. And then their eyes come straight up like that. Now, a politic Jin, their apolitic Jin's eyes are like this. A politic Jin and their clones, their eyelids go in like that. Not allowed to have it. And they've been cloning them, making these since the people came here from Nibiru. They brought cloning technology and the gray aliens did. Wrong. Now I'm going to show you what Jin's eyes look like. Hang on a sec. Jin's eyes look like this. They're flat. They're really flat and they're really dark or they're just bright blue or they're just really bright blackish brown. They're clones. You're not allowed to make them. Same as the politic gins. You're not allowed to make those. What does it say? Two shall have no gods before me. Before Ian Amy. Before Ian Amy. Orion. I am from Orion. Orion. And it's called Orion. 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 Now they called Orion Thomas Nelson. Is not. He's an Anunnaki clone. They're not Anunnaki aren't from there. They're from the Pleiades system or wherever the heck they are. And they managed to bring all these different types of, of beings on a mire trying to say, well, we, we, we can boss you around. We have the right to kill this person, that person. But you can't even get the right people. Right? Exactly. So the origins of humanity started over 10 million years ago. People started growing up on there now what happened was these other people started coming and they started making people like edgar you come from the elephant people you come from the elephant people i know that because your teeth are spaced far apart i had big buck teeth big bucked horse teeth when i was little i come from the horse people so anybody that comes from the horse people should have a gargantuous penis john white comes from the from John White, not Johnny Weed, but John White comes from the elephant people too, just like you. So does Annie, and he's, and he's actually, he's Greek. He's got curly hair. He's actually Greek. John White's Greek too, just like me, the big bulbous nose. And then there's people, um, yeah, just like that. And then Johnny Weed comes from the horse people. So does Dave Weed. So does Ronald Watson and Uncle Rod, and he come from the horse people. And that's how you can tell. Amelia Earhart is from the horse people. It doesn't matter. I got my genetics through Amelia Earhart and through my parents and stuff. So that is the originally. Now, because of what they're doing, they're not allowed to do that. I didn't tell you guys that you could start doing that. Yet people have been doing that. So hear my words. You cannot make a clone of me and put him in Britain and then make another clone and put him in Australia and another one in it. So you cannot do that. You want to go somewhere, then go somewhere and be a citizen wherever you want to be. But you're not allowed to clone people. Why are we having food shortages? Because we're cloning people. And because there's not enough food to go around. So we need to get rid of the clones. So we can eat natural food. So things can go back to the way they are. I have a 277 IQ. The smartest person they ever found on earth had a 121 one IQ. I have a 277 IQ. I'm the smartest human on earth. And I'm Indian. I'm an Orion Jin. All the Indians in the Yukon are Nibrus. Same as the, the Negros. They're Nibrus. They're not, and they're not Aboriginal. Not in any way, shape, or form. And the only one I've ever seen is my buddy, John Broran. Him and his wife, they have a daughter that is actually reptilian, Orion Jin, really beautiful, yellowish colored eyes, beautiful girl. And that's, that's cool. But all, no, all the, I don't know, man, but hey, hey, I, then, then you people came here to this earth and then, and then they brought you the Bible and they said, learn from the Bible and stuff. Yeah, but the people teaching you were the Catholics, you know, and they're saying, well, abstinence makes the heart fonder. No, it doesn't. Abstinence makes people sin. 
That's the difference. It's only prostitution when you take it out of your house. Or out of, you know, out of your house. Yeah, because your bedroom. What does it say? You don't shit where you sleep. That's right. What does it say? Two shall not covet. That's right. You can't do vaginal and anal. You can't do that. You go to your bedroom, you can do vaginal. You want to do anal, you go to the bathtub and do anal. Yeah. Use the Bible to your advantage. Use your own heads. Right? Or are you people not thought about stuff like that? Hmm. Constable Christie, I saw you watching me the other day. You're all like drooling. Oh, you're so handsome. Of course I'm handsome. I'm smart too. And I know the law. Now, I want the Edmonton Police Service and the RCMP to read the Book of Psalms. And you're going to see in there clearly that I'm a police officer. And you're going to see that it is me. And forgive me for for invoking Constable Strutnitsky's name, but basically that's this, that's just is. And he's going to back me up on everything I say. Because what I'm saying is truthful. I was in the States. I was a police officer. So I want my name back. My name is Ian Amy Oakley. I want my ID back. I have more medals. The unknown soldier guarding the, the tomb of the unknown soldier in the States and in Canada. The Uncle Ian Oakley and soldier is me. So what I'm saying is real. And what I'm saying about the Nibrus and all that's real too. You know, how dare you, you know, you're sitting there, you put some stupid fucked up clone. I watched a UFC fight where they put a screwed up clone on there and he eyed up Nate Diaz to get the advantage of him. And then when Nate Diaz started getting the better of him, all of a sudden the time clock went faster. And then he smacked Nate in the, in the face. If I was you, Nate Diaz, somebody ever does that to you and smacks you after the fight right where you got your cut, you just grab him and just start to attack him. That was disrespectful, man. Disrespectful. And the Nibirus think they're better than us. And I don't like that. So do the Indians. The people, the, 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 the other ones, they're Nibirus too. No, because the Chinese are not. From here, remember what Genghis Khan did? All those people that he killed? Where did he go? Did he come to Canada to kill people? Did he go to Greece? Did he go up to Sweden? No, he didn't, did he? Did he go to Italy and start killing all those people? No, where did he go? Right, to East India and Samaria and all that area and slaughtering those people because they're not from this earth. And Genghis Khan knew that. Oh, really? Oh, really? You can't jail people on the Mental Health Act because they're smart. Now, if Troy Opie, who's being held against his will out at Alberta Hospital in the Helen Hunley Forensics Unit, now, if you put him in there and he's a hermaphrodite and he had his charge redacted, then you have to let him go. And if he's certified then you have to put him in building in 10 or one of the upstairs building, 10A or 10B. You can't hold him in that unit. And I'm going to have you arrested. The doctors that's holding him, I'm going to have you arrested and jailed for kidnapping. So you're going to let Troy go immediately. Same as Justin Summers, bringing people underneath my apartment to hate on me from the hospital. No, 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 you cannot do that. And I've heard him. I've been on my telephone and I can hear him talking and a whole bunch of water running. And I'm like, wait a minute. At Alberta Hospital, people don't talk on the phone with water running and stuff like that. So, and I knew he was under there because I could hear him talking underneath my apartment. Oh, really? And I bet you if you went down to the boiler room and you pull the stairs away, that's how they're getting in there. So why don't you get warrants and go under there and go after the people? Every time I decide I want to have just one or two drinks and I'm being quiet, they try to give me a headache. They try to harm me. You are not allowed to use chemical weapons on people. Everyone has the right not to be subject to any cruel and unusual treatment or punishment. Now, everybody has the right to remain in and leave Canada. Canada is a big red flag. You understand? Like, leave Canada, stop Canada. Anna, dad, stop them. Dad, all of that. Stop all of that. 
I got a whole bunch of children. You're not allowed to abduct people and, and mess with their sperm. The gray aliens, well, this is probably their laws too. So why are the gray aliens, they can't even obey their own laws. The grays, they're not coming on our earth to populate our earth and think that they're going to, they're not helping us. How have they helped us? We can't even look at them. We look at them and we can't even look in their eyes. And they haven't even picked me up and repaired me until they show me some kind of goodness. Then I don't like them and they're not from here. And they're a dying race. We can't save them. Everybody is scared to die. But you know what? Death is part of life. And life is part of death. For all that lives is born to die. Yes. In our bodies and in our mind, we have the ability to change our DNA structure. We have the ability to heal ourselves. Like right now, I'm saying in my head, my body, I'm healing my body and my muscles are getting bigger and my body's getting really strong. And, oh, whoa, look at the size of those arms. Big, 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 big pipes. We love your statutes. Um, there's a zealot dagger and a, de and a death head. Oh, you guys forgot about that. You know what that tattoo is. Oh, really? Oh, that is what that says. Now, I didn't appreciate when those people helped everybody else to do this stuff. They, they're on my team, you know. So I'm saying, I am the Alpha and the, um, the Omega. I have black hair, Mongol. That's right. I am the top wolf. I am the top. I am the top of the top. The Lion King. I am the top. I am the Alpha and the Omega. My eyes are, I got dog eyes. I got wolf eyes. And they're probably trying to put a clone on. My eyes are bright green. Yet every time I go on this, this, this thing, they try to put clones on there to eye me up and stuff. You're not allowed to do that. It says, two shall not covet. Our, our Ian Thomas Nelson. You can't covet me. You can't do that and try to harm me. Because then I get mad and then I want to harm you. And believe me, I'm pretty tough too. So you don't want to really mess around with me, are I, and Thomas Nelson. You better get my identification immediately. And I want to move forward. I want the gas gone. I don't care about turtles. You could talk about turtles all goddamn life. They've had over a year to stop doing this. They smuggled more Sarah nerd gas in here about two months ago. They smuggled more gas in here. And I know that for a fact. So, really, Staff Sergeant Sharp, you were policing this. Hmm. Okay. So, what are you going to do for me? Because if I know, if I go to the RCMP and you pull out James's fingerprints, they're going to be on cardboard papers. They're going to have, not, and we're going to do not, no computers, because people can hack the computers. Two shall not tick ill. Two shall not test steal. Two shall not covet. Oh. So we'll do my prints manually and guaranteed my prints are going to match. And if my prints match James Ian Warbisky's prints, then he's a clone of me and he has to be destroyed immediately. You can't have the same people with the same prints and everything. Then he goes out and does crimes and you guys come and arrest me for something that he's doing. Or he's running around with my name, you know, getting a whole bunch of charges. The name's not a med. You can't make clones of people and then say, well, I'm going to give you this name. No, no, no. And when they did make clones back in during the war, when, when Adolf Eichmann went to the Holy Land, why did he go there? He went to the Holy Land to tell them to stop making clones and sending them to Europe. I am doing the same fucking thing. Stop making clones in the Middle East and sending them to Europe. They are going to die. I'm going to kill them all. Legally, yes, we will. Yes, that's right. That's true, too. We have the right to speak violent, even it appears violent. However, if we go out and we go after innocent people, then it's not protected. But if we're going after guilty people, because they're doing it in the States, they're taking out and they're abducting people, and then the clones are committing crimes, and the humans are getting busted for it. That's not cool. Read the Book of Enoch, why they destroyed the Watchers, Kenneth Lee Watchers, why they destroyed them. Because they weren't obeying the law. They're trying to say they are the law when they are. 
to shall not make unto Kenneth Lee any graven image. That's a graven image. Kenneth Lee Oakley died when my brother was 27. So there's not an, he's not Ian Amy. So you want to look at Kenneth Lee's picture and you want to go and look for him. You want to hunt for him and try to find him and see if he has my ID. You'd look in Sweden. It's the first place you'll go. Now you go to Michelle, the vet in the Yukon, and you ask them, Shane Oakley, Shy Ian Oakley. That's my name, Ian Amy Oakley, and I am God Almighty. And I want my identification back. And if I don't get my identification back, people are going to come here and they're going to kill everybody on earth. Everybody's going to die. And the only people that are going to be left are the ones that I choose to breed with. Now, I'd like to save a few more people, but I can't save people if you people want to continue to act retarded. Justin, you're representing the House of Commons. You're in there. You're not even the Prime Minister, man. And when I do ask you, I've asked you to do one thing. My other brother, my brother James asked you the same thing. One thing. He said, please grow hemp to put more oxygen in the air so the planet will cool down a bit. There's too many people on the earth. Why don't you judge Donna Hunt? And Matthew Rose, Dr. Matthew Rose swore an oath not to harm people. Yet they're letting people pump siren gas into my thing. And he's got four clones? No! The one Angus Watson we have is absolutely stupid. So making another 15 of them is going to make things better? No. I'm not feeding 15 Anguses. You give your food away. What? You don't like me? Think I'm niggery, Uncle Rod? Too freaking bad, man. Get used to this. I'm not going away. You're going away if you don't quit fucking listening to me. Start listening to me. I want my pubic bone repaired and I want my identification. If I do not get my identification and my pubic bone repaired within, let's just say, one month. You have one month to do this. And Trudeau, I want my $10 million by Christmas time. If I don't get that, Trudeau, I am going to put you in states into death row i'm going to take you down there and i'm going to electrocute you and i'm going to personally electrocute you i'm going to hammer it down you are an asshole a fucking snobby asshole christia freeland i saw you in alberta well i'm busy right now what dumping a whole bunch of beer through hoses into the basement of my apartment giving me a big headache oh yeah, exactly, man. People aren't allowed to hide under. They made the Tower of Babel. They tried to make a tower to come to reach me. That's what they did. Stratoninsky, thank you. That's exactly what they have done. Well, then get a warrant for my apartment and come in here and scan my apartment floor and I'll help you. I'll show you where to scan and you're going to guaranteed you're going to find out there's all kinds of tunnels under there. There's chemicals down there. They, they come here, carloads of people lining up on the street. They're feeding these people like kings to hate on me. Same as Adam Joseph Chinnery running around thinking he's Jesus Christ. He's not Jesus Christ. He's a Nibiru. And he needs to go back to the East Coast. Says, do not worship Balaam. Do not worship the beast or its image. James Ian Warbisky calls his penis the beaster. The beast or its image. Fucking Tamlin, that tall grandpa Heidi. It, don't worship that. I had my own short fat Heidi. Well, yeah, because she likes that when I pay attention to her and I explain all of the how we used to be in. And that's not anybody's business because we're not related. And every once in a while I get drank and I'm like, oh man, you know, remember this? You wait like I get old and you think you're going to run away on me? Oh, she's like, tell me what you're going to do. Oh yeah, I really like that. Of course she likes that because we're not related. Christ, Ian, James, Ian Warbisky. So how, how do you get Christ, T. James, Ian Warbisky? No. Christ, Ian is Christ, Ian. Ian Amy Oakley. I am God. I can't change that. Now, you can't hate me because of that. No, I'm trying to teach you people. Oh, you wait till next week. We're going to be getting into medical school. And I'm going to teach the doctors. Oh, I am a doctor. 
and a fourth year undergrad in law. I've studied four years of law while I was in the military and I've read every Britannica encyclopedia, every encyclopedia that you can read, I've read from the front to the back. And I've read every book I can get my hands on that is, is pertains to me. So you're not going to beat me. Nobody's going to beat me because I'm just that cool. And I apologize. I know it says, you know, two shall not covet. I, I, I understand that, but that's right. Constable Stratoninsky, that is the law is the law. You know, people are want to abuse me with sarin gas. So they're basically like poking me with a stick. And then all of a sudden I freak out. So everybody comes and runs. Oh, we got to certify this. No, go certify these fucking assholes underneath me for their behaviors. Yes. Yes. Constable Stratoninsky, thank you. See, that is how the law works. Okay, so we're getting warrants for this building. You're going to arrest Timothy Fitzgerald. You're going to put him in jail for living off the avails of organized crime, crimes against humanity, aggravated assault. Because using sarin gas on me and sneaking downstairs to hate me, that's aggravated assault. Yes. And the people have had a year to have heat-seeking cameras to be watching all these people. You people can watch me in the middle of the night. Why don't you watch the people underneath me and go after the people that are doing this to me and the people upstairs and above and all that? Oh, okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Oh. So I think that I am God and I'm right that I'm God and I am from the States. Now I found where I, in the Bible where it says I'm from the States and somebody Gave me something to make me forget, so I can't see that in the Bible, but I'm going to find it. It's chapter 11, verse 4 and 7, and I'm going to hunt through the whole Bible, and you're going to see the USA, Ian. You're going to see that, that I'm from the USA. It's a, not a kid. Yeah, I don't have kids. I don't have a son that's named Ian, and not with Christia Freeland, because guess what? Christia Freeland is my daughter, and they abducted me and put me and Sally Olson together, and I screwed the ass right off her and knocked her up. And that's how Christia Freeland came about. So how the hell can I have kids with Christia Freeland? Incest. I didn't sleep with her. Oh, so how do you have kids with me? And you don't have a kid named Ian Amy either, Christia. That's not ever happening. You said you were going to free me. You have done nothing to do. You have done nothing to free me. Get warrants immediately and go after the people below me. Everyone has the right not to be subject to any cruel and unusual treatment or punishment, right? I'm trying to make my penis puny while I'm having a shower, abusing me in the shower, pumping fucking water, scalding me with all kinds of horrible chemicals, turpentine. Oh, no, no, no. You do not pump fluoride through the water. You pump a little bit of salt in the water keep the water clean if you have to a teeny little bit you never use chlorine or fluoride that causes fat to build up on your arteries and clogs the arteries and causes heart disease the cure for heart disease i just told you the cure for heart disease what i have the cure for every disease on earth i'm going to take death away People aren't going to die anymore. I have the power to take death away. I hold the keys to hell and death. I died and came alive again, Constable Stratoninsky. Uh, chapter 1 in Revelations, King James Bible, our Bible. Right, the King James Bible, Amy's, like friends, we're friends. We're not enemies, we're friends. Lean Amy's. There you are. Same as my brother. Somebody abducted us and squished our ID and all that. And James probably doesn't even know who it is. Probably James Ian McCall sneaking around. Britain. Britian, Britian, Itian. Well, Itian has blue eyes. So James Ian McCall should have blue eyes. No, 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 no. I have green eyes. Ian Amy Oakley has green eyes. So unless they're, they're trying to cut me out of the scenario. I don't know why, but the mob says that I'm clean. My paperwork's clean. I don't have any crimes. And I've murdered a lot of people. I've murdered a hell of a lot of people, and I'm very good at killing people, but I did it legally in the military, and I killed clones and hurts of the game and all that. 
Yeah, all of those people in Hertz of Acania. Now I know I really had a bad year, 35,000. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. yes, 35,000. Me and Damien, my brother, Damien Oakley. Me and Damien Oakley. And probably our eye on Thomas now that killed 35,000 people. I got away and nobody could find me. And I kept hunting for these clones. I hate these clones. Two shall not tick ill. And that's what they're doing to us. And they're not allowed to do that either. So that concludes my speech. Next week, we're going to be having a speech on the cure for all illness on earth. Yeah, we're not going to need the medical doctors anymore. Because we're all going to know how to cure ourselves. What did I say? Two shall not to kill. Two shall not kill. Two shall not to covet. Two shall not to steal. So I get hemp oil so I can get better. So Alan McIntosh abducts it and puts fucking, uh, and puts aluminum in there. Yeah, well, that's okay, Alan, because I know Alan Ian McIntosh died. His was clone that died. So the green ID and Alan McIntosh is sneaking around with my ID. So you want to look for Ian Alan McIntosh that has green eyes and grayish hair and black hair and you look for him. It's the only other one that could have my ID. It's either him or my brother has a clone of me or has my ID or it's James Ian Warbisky. Either way, you guys know what to do, man. All the RCMP has to do is get the old fingerprints from every time James Ian Warbisky got arrested and let's test their fingerprints. You might even see that they were switching us out when we were young. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. You have a good day and take care. Pretty smart, eh, Ma? Oh, oh yeah.